Dexamethasone is associated with substantial reductions in mortality for patients receiving mechanical ventilation, smaller benefits for those receiving supplemental oxygen, but no benefits in patients who do not need oxygen or ventilation. What I am using is a medicine called budesonide, an, an inhaled steroid that doesn't have the side effects of total body steroids, but it has the benefits. Dr. Bartlett says COVID-19 starts in the respiratory system, but then triggers a severe inflammatory process called cytokine storms. That eventually leads to multi-organ failure and death. But the inhaled steroid helps to prevent that inflammation. Like using a fire extinguisher at the base of the fire, the source of the fire, putting out the whole uh, inflammatory uh, cytokine storm fire at the source. And I'm having patients recover so Dr. John, the president's doctor revealing that his blood oxygen levels dropped twice. On Friday, he was given oxygen for about an hour. Yesterday, they dropped again at the hospital. How concerning is all that? Well, Kate, this is a respiratory virus, so the fact that he was on oxygen went off of it, and his oxygen level dropped again for a short time gets concerning because that means it's affecting his lungs. And if that continues and gets worse, it could be dangerous. And doctors started the president on a steroid called dexamethasone. Isn't that usually reserved for the severely ill? It, it almost seems like they're trying a lot of treatments at once. Okay, it does seem like they're trying a lot of different treatments all at the same time, hoping that he's able to fight off the virus. But dexamethasone is a steroid and it's recommended only for patients that are on a ventilator or require supplemental oxygen. As a matter of fact, the NIH recommends against using dexamethasone in patients who do not require supplemental oxygen. So it is unusual that they're using that medicine on the president given the symptoms and treatments that they're actually telling us about.